Hey guys, Mars Thinking here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video and so today we are going to have a look at this Piccolo. Uh, I did manage to get two copies of him, so he's got one dupe. Um, I've been link leveling him, so he's got fairly reasonable links. Actually, we've got a couple at nine already, that's not bad at all. And the rest are all at eight. He's a lot closer than I thought actually. But we're going to try him out on the Namekians team. So we haven't run a Namekians team since the same name update came out and it is something I wanted to do. Because we obviously have Piccolo as the leader. We have our new Piccolo. We have the AGL Piccolo, uh, the free-to-play Easy A one. I wanted to bring him along because we're going to get to see him transform. He can stack his defense a couple of times on Super. He gives some really good healing. And obviously, he is a Planet Namek Saga unit. So he's going to benefit from the support passive from this Piccolo. Um, and then for the other rotation, we're running the Double Demon King Piccolo. Just because, you know, Namekian still doesn't have a huge amount of options. And we've got Nail as well, who's obviously very good as long as there's a Piccolo on the team. So, I thought what we would do for this run is we are jumping into the Formidable Saiyans Infinite Dragon Ball History stage. Now, uh, we need to float off Demon King Piccolo, but they don't get they don't have any links anyway. So, it doesn't actually matter that the two Piccolos aren't going to link up here. But, we'll go ahead and do this. And then, might as well get the... Might as well get the 18 key super. He's not being attacked, so we don't need to get the damage reduction. So we're going to see how far we can go with this team. Because I feel like this is probably the strongest Namekian team I could think of to make for taking on this event. But obviously the category still needs a lot of help. Now, this Piccolo also, he builds up over time. So I wanted to do one of these slightly longer events. Just so we could see what his uh, stats and everything are going to be once he's fully maxed out. So... A certain number of turns have to have passed and we have to have attacked a certain number of times. So it'll be interesting to see what he gets up to in terms of the stats. I should have checked his uh, turn one defense. But we are going to get super attacked here. Um, raise defense on super. Yeah, see we can't really... There's no, We don't really have a tank for this super, unfortunately. So we're just going to have to take it on the chin and hope that Piccolo uh, is all good here. Um, I mean, we're only in the first stage against Raditz, so I can't imagine we're going to get, like, supered for 300k or something, but hey, let's find out. I mean, we have under 100k defense, so you never know, I guess. <laughs> yeah, 100k. <laughs> it wasn't 300k, so I'll take it. <laughs> but yeah, shout out to uh, the friends for saying I had to post in one of the groups I'm in, because surprise, surprise, uh, no physical piccolos were available on the friends list. Shocking, I know, but managed to get one. And uh, we'll see how we can get on with this team. Because the thing is, like, the LR Demon King Piccolo is good. Uh, this Demon King Piccolo is okay. I feel like he's kind of starting to show his age a little bit already. But once we have them on rotation together, obviously that'll be a very strong setup. And we can see uh, what sort of numbers they're putting out and everything. So, turn two. Piccolo's at 114k. So, he lowers the enemy's attack and defense on Super, which is good. And then, yeah, he's got 60% starting attack and defense. He gets 20% at the start of each turn up to 60, so three times. And then an additional 20% with each attack performed up to 60. So we're already on turn two, so we're two-thirds of the way there of his passive. We've already attacked once. We'll get one attack this turn, obviously. Uh, that's why I gave him nine additional, gave him the three dodge. Um, and then, yeah, he has a high chance to randomly change key spheres of a certain type to rainbow. And recovers 6% HP per Rainbow Keys for obtained. And then, yeah, he's giving Namek Saga allies 3 key and 40% attack and defense. So, obviously, that includes himself. So, he's going to work really, really well alongside Nail. Because, um, obviously, Nail, when there's a Piccolo on the team, is really, really good. So, we'll see how well Piccolo can tank in slot 1 here. Double digit damage. Pretty solid. Obviously, we're still only at the Raditz portion. So, not like the hardest part or anything. But I wonder how long it will actually take to go through this. Because this team has a lot of units that can be very good. Um, especially because, you know, like Piccolo is still building up. The AGL Piccolo is going to transform at some point. We'll be able to transform the physical one at some point. Um, but yeah, at the start, we don't exactly have like crazy amounts of damage dealing going on. So let's go ahead and I guess untransformed. Yeah, the STR Demon King Piccolo is better. Why won't he get that, uh, those STR orbs? Alright, so we'll just grab this for you. And then get these. Get a full 24 key super for you. And then 
Piccolo stacks defense infinitely before we transform. So I think we'll go ahead and just keep him untransformed here. Um, and then, yeah, STR Demon King Piccolo tanking okay. Only on the second fight and we got type advantage. So it's nothing too crazy. But we'll see how well he does here. Two million crit, not bad. And we can still lower attack, so that helps as well. And then two million for the untransformed um, Demon King Piccolo. I'm not sure if any of the enemies that you fight through this stage are in Dragon Ball Seekers. So I don't know if we can uh, transform early with him. But obviously he will transform at some point. And then one, once he's transformed, he's way better because he has like guaranteed damage reduction. Um, very, very strong. No super still. Um, so yeah, having the physical Piccolo untransformed is obviously very useful for scouting out them super attacks as well. So that does work out quite nicely for us here. So after this attack, this was turn three for Piccolo at least. So after this attack, he's now attacked three times. So his passive is fully built up now. So we'll go ahead and see on the next turn <clears throat> what his defense is and his attack stat. And that's him with his passive fully maxed. So not too bad. Decent uh, nail putting in a solid show here as well. And we move on. So we're going to get the transformation with AGL Piccolo. This does give you a one-time heal for 30%, which we didn't need. And we're going to get the transformation with Demon King Piccolo here as well. So very good. Transformations all around here. And uh, we did take out Nappa, so we're at Vegeta. Oh, yeah, I think this Vegeta, he's a Dragon Ball Seeker. So, yeah, we transformed slightly early. They actually have Shattering the Limit, whereas they don't have any links. So, you know what? Let's actually do that. Because we can grab all of these for you. Demon King Piccolo, the LR, is going to have damage reduction and everything now. So, he's going to be fine. Um, I don't know if he does. I don't think he does extra damage based on the number of orbs. Because once he's transformed, you don't need a certain number of orbs to get damage reduction. But might as well grab the more orbs anyway. Why not? And then transform Piccolo. He can stack his defense a couple of times because he raises his defense on Super for three turns. So he should be pretty good. But he's going to come in very handy with the healing. Same as the Piccolo. Like 6% of our match max HP. That's quite a lot. We've got almost 500k. Which means if it was 500k, 1% of our HP would be 5,000. And Piccolo heals 6% per uh, Rainbow Orb. So he's healing us about 30k per Rainbow Orb picked up. And he does he can create his own Rainbow Orb. So pretty good. And then AGL Piccolo here. Considering he's a free-to-play unit. Obviously he's not going to be doing the craziest damage output. But he's got the double super here. So we get double defense raise. So he should still tank pretty well here. He's going to get supered though. So this actually could do a fair bit of damage. How much is this actually going to do here? 172k. That's quite a bit, but we can uh, we can handle that. So, we get the Icarus support memory. Forgot I'd equip that, but okay. We get Piccolo. So, fully built up. He's at 181k defense. I mean, that's not terrible, but obviously he's only got one dupe as well. So, not the worst thing. Uh, the physical Piccolo untransformed. He's not giving any um, sort of support, is he? So, and we do lose the ability to super attack. Let me double check his transformate, transformed state here. He does have damage reduction. Um, oh, he still foresees enemy super attacks. I forgot, for some reason I thought he lost that. I don't know why. But, uh, I guess we do stop infinitely stacking defense. But his defense is already pretty decent. Um, I guess we can leave him for now. But yeah, a whole bunch of rainbow orbs. So you're back to full HP. That's pretty good. And then physical orbs for you. We'll leave him untransformed for this turn. Maybe we'll start transforming from the next turn onwards. We get the level 3 dodge. Let's go. So 2.36 without any support. That's not terrible, I guess. Like if we were running a team where we could actually have a good support unit come in in slot 3, probably be over 3 mil. So that's not terrible, but it's not, not great. But obviously he's here more for the utility. Like his defense is okay. You're healing. You're getting a lot of healing because that turn we picked up quite a lot of rainbow orbs, so he would have healed us back at least like 100k if we actually needed it. So, very, very useful for that at least. And uh, the Namekians team is kind of holding its own here. Oh, I didn't bring any uh, I didn't bring any items to remove the lock, did I? That's so annoying. Um, and yeah, this Piccolo is not really very built up. I'm going to transform him because then at least he gets the damage reduction. 
because he doesn't really have a lot of defense in turn one. Now, obviously, by transforming him earlier means he's not going to get to stack defense, but this is the one that I want to keep off rotation, so it's not the end of the world that I have to do this. But yeah, him being locked in the third slot is super awkward. I really wish we'd... Uh, I wish I'd remembered to bring a Sensu Boom, but... Oh, well. Go ahead and do this. So we're going to get the Dokon attack with the new uh, Tech Piccolo next turn, which he does have type advantage, so... We'll see how much uh, damage he can actually do. His attack stat probably not going to get any higher than it was on the previous turn. Because I don't think we have a unit that's going to give him any support uh, in slot 3. Double super from the Dokon Fest Piccolo here. do like his super attack animation. I haven't used this Piccolo for the longest time. Because, you know, don't really get to use Namekians very much. But hopefully Demon King Piccolo not going to eat a super attack here. Right, we get the crit, so we actually do... Of course he does. How much is this going to do? 234,000. Okay. But LR Demon King Piccolo. Mine's Rainbow Full Level 10 Link. So 3.3. It's pretty nice here. Getting uh, the type of advantage if you do big damage. Alright, so let's see. What is... Uh, now that you've transformed, they actually link as well, which is pretty good. Because you share... You actually share more links. But do I want to keep this... Uh, Piccolo around. I guess we'll get that because we're getting the more buff here and we're doing because we're having more links activated. We are getting the Dokon attack, so we probably should have this be the rotation for this turn. Since we're uh, we want to do as much damage with the Dokon attack as possible. So let's go ahead and try and hit all of these nodes here. There we go. Alright, so he's a 2.5. So not bad. We got type advantage. We got all the nodes, so we're getting the full damage multiplier here as well. So this is going to be a lot of damage here. Can we get the crit? He's only got level 5 crit. So, wow, 4 million. So we don't need it. That's uh, pretty decent damage for the Dokon attack, I will say. So, Alright, so we are going to eventually have this turn back into our uh, Demon King Piccolo rotation. We're getting supered at the end, so let's put the damage reduction. Really? That's awkward. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem with having our rotation messed up by not having an item to fix it. The uh, Demon King Piccolos link really well together, but they don't link super well with everybody else on the team. So, <laughs> fortunately, we do have type advantage with both of the Piccolos here. Um... So we should be all good. A million from Demon King Piccolo. Yeah, Demon King Piccolo definitely showing his age. Hopefully when we get a, another Dragon Ball themed celebration of some kind. Hopefully we will get one at some time soon. But when we do, he really needs to get an easy A. Because the LR is really good. Now that there's been enough world tournaments that you can have him rainbowed. Uh, Rainbow full level 10 links, he's really good. But he's only really at his full potential when you're running him with the Dokon Fest one. So, he definitely needs to get an easy A sooner rather than later. So, uh, we can't get any rainbow walls, but we're on full health anyway. So, let's go ahead and grab these. These. And then this should connect up these. There we go. So, it's four that way. Alright, there we go. Number five. So, Demon King Piccolo has his damage reduction. He raises defense on super as well. So, he should be okay here. Uh, super attack on this Piccolo. Would probably still do a pretty reasonable amount of damage. We can't lower attack. But we still take double digit damage from normals. So that is actually really good. Um, tanking from him. Considering we've got type disadvantage. Paragus is obviously not the most powerful unit. But still pretty solid to be this far in. And taking the double digit damage. Um, wait did I float off. Have I messed up my rotation again? No way it was the previous. Did I float off Demon King Piccolo last turn? No he was in the middle. Okay good. Whew. I thought I'd messed up the Demon King Piccolo rotation for a second then. So, keep you here in the middle, grab those, and then just get these for you and these for you. Because we've got a Piccolo on rotation anyway, but Nail only needs there to be a Piccolo on the team. So, he works really well in the third slot, because even when he comes in on the turn with the two Demon King Piccolos, uh, he's still going to be able to do very well. He does at least have Fierce Battle with Demon King Piccolo, so... Giving him a little bit of extra damage. But... No crit. 28k. Yeah, Demon... STR Demon King Piccolo not got the uh, greatest defense. 
but... Alright, so, put you in slot 1 again. I mean, he's got every link except Fierce Battle, so actually, if we put you in the middle, you get every link active. So let's go ahead and put you first. Um, just grab these here. And now we can get three Rainbow Orbs, so... Again, that would be close to 100k worth of health if we actually needed it. So, Physical Piccolo can tank everything in slot 1. This is him, full passive, full links active. We'll end it off with this turn because I don't want the video to be too long. And there's not really much more to see. Like, his attack stat's not going to get any higher. <laughs> or Physical Piccolo is going to kill him because I didn't realise his health was so low. <laughs> Alright, well, maybe next time. So, uh, we're getting a super attack in slot 1, so we definitely put you here. Alright, let's do this. I do kind of want to see, like, one more attack stat for that Piccolo. I feel like the end of the video should at least be the turn that he's on. So, we'll go ahead and do this. Um, Demon King Piccolo should be okay here with the with getting supered, because he does have built-in damage reduction. Uh, he's got his links with the STR1. He raises defense on super... So how much is it actually going to do? Because Broly can hit pretty hard. Eh, 50k. That's actually not too bad. We'll see in comparison how much the STR Demon King Piccolo takes from taking a normal attack here. But... Yeah, nearly <laughs> nearly the same. So, uh... Yeah, not too good. But... Demon King Piccolo, I'm sure your day will come. Uh, a new Dokkan Fest. Hopefully when they do another OG Dragon Ball like festival type thing, we're going to get a... Um, Mar Junior from the end like fight against Team Goku. I think that would be sick, but we'll go ahead and put you in slot one. Get the orbs here for the heals, and then yeah, we'll end it off for this turn. We got a decent link set active here with the other Piccolo. Everything except Gaze of Respect, so pretty good turn here. So yeah, let me know what you think of Tech Piccolo. How many copies did you manage to pull? If you pulled him, if you just got the one, did you manage to rainbow him? 2.6 attack stats, pretty good. So, yeah, let me know your thoughts down below and of the state of the Namekian team in general. I feel like it definitely still needs a little bit of a helping hand. But let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. So, that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been The Master Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.